when I'm in between projects, rather than let my printer sit idle, I just print Stemfy blocks, but not these little ones, but big ones, 500% big. And now I found a way to print these really fast. I'll explain it all on today's Film at Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Film at Friday is also brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. If you've watched the channel for any length of time, you know I'm a fan of these Stemfy blocks from Stemfy.org. They're free blocks you can download and print and build things. They've even got projects like this rubber band car. But I like to upsize them to 500%, like I did with the rubber band car back here. I'm also working on a design that's more universal. I can turn this into a wagon for my grandkids or possibly even a cart to haul my kayak down to the lake. I also showed in a previous video where I made this spool rack for filament spools using smaller blocks and connecting it with these threaded inserts. And I use the smaller ones because these I can print on an Ender 3 size printer, which is the same size as a K1C. Now I don't like to leave my printer sit idle if I'm between projects, so as a fill-in I take old filament or spools that are almost ready to run out and I'll just print large Stemfy blocks. So there, that's how this happens. I just print them in between projects and it's built up to where I have quite a collection. But printing these big pieces definitely takes more time, but now that we have faster printers, maybe I can print these even faster. And I also want to see if I can adjust things in the slicer to get some extra fast printing if I don't need super fine detailed quality on something as rough as this. So when you get a K1 or K1 Max, it comes with this file of a Benchy. It's a 17 minute Benchy. It's in the machine, you just print it, and it does a nice job 17 minute Benchy. But if you try to slice a Benchy and match this in Creality Print or even Orca Slicer, you don't even come close. You're gonna, not 17 minutes, you're probably gonna be like 34, 35, almost double the time. I've played with different settings, and this is about the best I could do. I think this one's 36 minutes. It's not a bad Benchy, but this was sliced in, I think, Creality Print. I just can't get to 17 minute. So then I pulled Simplify 3D off the shelf. I've had Simplify 3D. They sent me a copy of their new 5.0. I updated it to the latest, and I found that the speed settings for their K1, K1 Max profiles are much slower than what's in Orca Slicer and Creality Print. I adjusted the speed settings in Simplify 3D to match what's in Creality Print and also Orca Slicer, and this was the result. I was able to print a 13-minute Benchy. Now, it's not as good a quality as the 17-minute Benchy that comes with a machine, but it's a little faster, and it's not bad at all. The sides of it are pretty smooth. There's a little under extrusion on the top and also on the floor. And I could probably adjust that out, but I'm, I'm starting from a low point, 13 minutes. So I was curious, what else could I print faster with this Simplify 3D modified profile? So I wanted to print more of these. This is a Stemfy three-hole bracket in 500%. And if I printed this on an Ender 3 using my extra fast profile, which you can download for free in the description below, it would take two hours to print this. Two hours. Now I have some improved profiles that are available for my thanks members and also my Patreon supporters. Now I also offer a hyper fast profile. That's just for like prototyping. You're not gonna get a pretty unit, but you can see if everything kind of fits. That one I can get it down to an hour and a half or 90 minutes. Now let's look at the K1 slicer, such as the Creality Print. I'm gonna use a 0.3 layer height because I don't need real fine detail. And a 5% infill on most of these prints. 56 minutes is what it said in Creality Print. Not bad. And then I went to Orchid Slicer. Now it says a 0.2 layer height, but I changed that to a 0.3, and I got it down to 49 minutes, even better. But then I went to Simplify 3D, and I edited their process settings to 0.3, which is their fast speed. But then I wanted to match the speed of the settings that's in Creality Print, because that's what Creality recommends. When I looked at Simplify 3D settings here on the top, it was 125 millimeters per second. So I changed it to 300 millimeters per second and then adjusted everything accordingly. So then I sliced it in Simplify 3D and I got 34 minutes. And here's the results. Now Simplify 3D results are definitely rough. I gotta improve the top layer surface, but the things are strong. I could actually use them and dimensionally, they work. Clearly I've gotta improve some settings in Simplify 3D, but it's given me high speeds but not that much more in this particular print than Orca Slicer. And I want speed. 
Speaking of speed, if you need circuit boards fast, check out PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is where I get all my circuit boards. You can get 10 boards for five bucks plus shipping. You just upload your Gerber files, you get an instant quote, and it'll tell you how much to ship it as well. Plus, if you need assembly service, they've got that. I've used them, it's awesome. They also do CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. So if you need circuit boards or any of these services, you can get an instant quote from PCBWay.com. So next I needed a couple of these wheels, and I know before on the Ender 3 this would be an overnight print. It would take a long time. But look what I found when I started slicing with Orca, Creality Print, and Simplify 3D. So here's the wheel upsized to 500% in Creality Print and a 5% infill, 0.3 layer height. And when I sliced it, it says 6 hours and 58 minutes. Wow. Next I'm going to use the Orca Slicer. And I'm going to use their 0.24 profile, but I'm going to change layer height to 0.3. And then for strength, I'm just going to use the 5% infill once again. It should be fine for this thing. And the print time there was 6 hours and 53 minutes. Now let's look at Simplify 3D. 3 hours and 58 minutes with all the same settings. And it looked good in the preview, but I found it's off. It actually took 4 hours and 50 minutes, but it's still at least an hour faster than what I would get out of Orca or Creality Print. Even though I still have the top surface issues, the inside structure was good, the outer ring was good. It looks as good as the one I printed on the Ender 3, which took a lot longer. The red and white were printed with the Simplify 3D profile. The Ender 3 were the back two black ones. I put some weight on this, pulled it around. They made a little more noise because they are a little rougher, but overall they held the weight, no issues. So based on all this, I'm not recommending you go out and buy Simplify 3D for $199. I'm not saying that at all. But if you have it and you haven't played with it, Give it a shot because the profiles for these machines aren't bad and you can improve the speed by simply making some speed adjustments right in the profile. It may be worth it depending on what you're printing. The other thing I have to admit I like about Simplify 3D, when I sliced something, it was within a few seconds the slicing was done. Creality Print and Orca Slicer took several minutes to slice depending on how complex the print is. So that's a feature that Simplify 3D still has. They charge a lot more, but I do like that. So if you get a few idle printers, don't be afraid to print some Stemfy blocks. I think they're a lot of fun. You don't have to print the 500%, but I like it. And the bolts and nuts are easy to print. They print flat, they go together and lock together. And the other thing is you can design with Stemfy blocks in Tinkercad. That's how I'm working on a design for my kayak. So I highly recommend you play with them. It's something you can do for the kids or with the kids. It's just a lot of fun. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or get a membership at Thangs.com. That way you get access to all my profiles and also my electronics books. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.